What makes some equipment better than others? This great question comes from Alex in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Hey, Paul, as a total beginner, good, I love beginners, in the audio world, I spent hours and hours online reading through famous uh, forums and reviews to try and understand what makes a system sound good, particularly in the entry level and mid-level equipment. I'll often see sayings like, this $200 speaker beats that $1,000 speaker, or looking at, at PS Audio, M700, a $3,000 pair of monoblock amplifiers, one of the most extraordinary under $5,000 power amplifier pair ever crafted. I think I probably wrote that line. <laughs> <laughs> what aspects of audio performance do people typically associate with various price classes? Is the answer that just past a certain bar of build quality, it comes down to taste and brand affinity? Gosh, you know, that's a, that's a really tough question because we know that at a certain point, you, you, you got to spend X amount of dollars in order to get X amount of performance. So take, for example, our little Sprout, our integrated that little guy. He's, he's such a cutie pie. Is there one here? No. See, I should be prepared for these. <laughs> anyway, our little Sprout, it's about 600 bucks, and it has the, you know, 100 watt per channel power amplifier and a DAC and a, a, a preamp and a phono stand, all that stuff crammed into, into a box. It's a great product, but it's a $600 product, and it's the best that we could do for $600. So there comes a point where you're trying to get a lot of performance for very little money, and you have to make compromises. I, there's no question that Sprout doesn't sound anywhere near as good as our Stellar products. But once you move up into, let's say, a thousand to three thousand dollars retail we're talking about as soon as you get into that category you can do some amazing things you, you can actually make products it using your if you have the chops for it you can actually make products that sound better than twenty and thirty thousand dollar products okay because all of a sudden you're not constrained as as we are in in something like a sprout to where we can put in uh, better components. We can make choices um, that really give us the opportunity to build something extraordinary. And, and while I understand 1000 to $2,000 ain't cheap, I mean, that's not nothing, but it, it certainly isn't twenty, thirty, forty thousand dollars $40,000. So what I have found is that once you get over this, this sort of S-curve thing, it goes up. Now we're kind of in the middle territory. As you start going up, the difference between, say, a $2,000 Stellar product in our line and a $6,000 Perfect Wave product is far less great than the difference between a Stellar and a Sprout. Does that make sense? So here, here's Sprout down here and here's Stellar. I mean, a lot, lot better, significantly better. But if this is Stellar, then Perfect Wave is like this far away. Now, it's better, clearly, and it's three times the money. Are you getting three times the difference? Nope. And as we get higher and higher in price, those differences tend to, to go down until you reach a certain point. And that would be not in electronics, but in speakers. So speakers are very different. Speakers cost manufacturers a lot to make a lot more than electronics in a certain sense. In other words, in electronics, I can use, I, I, I have a lot of skill, well, we have a lot of skill, in maybe I can't afford this uh, you know, $20 capacitor, but I can afford a $2 capacitor, and the difference in sound between the two, not that great. If you took a speaker, now, if as we've talked about before, just how important cabinetry is, for example. Man, you can put a ton of money into cabinetry and it will make a huge difference in sound. Drivers, I can buy cheesy woofers two or three bucks, you know, out of China, or we can design our own custom driver that's gonna cost us maybe $100 or $200 for that driver, because it's got all the bells and, and, and the difference in sound is huge. So, 
speakers, the more you pay for them in general, the, I mean, you can get extraordinary, look at my IRS fives. Those are not cheap speakers. You know, I paid $30,000 on the used market for them. They are so much, there, you know, it goes like this. But electronics, it goes like this, and then this, and this, and this, and this. So that's a general overview of how this kind of works. I hope that's a help to you. Good luck, and thanks for joining in. And I, I really, uh, I, I envy your journey, because, you know, I'm, I already got somewhere, right? And so now I'm just maintaining, but I love I love starting from scratch on a journey. What fun. Good for you. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later.